So we're talking about 2010. Yes. Roughly. I'm sorry. It was University of California plus Skull and Bones. Plus Skull and Bones. Oh, yes. Yes. The Russell Trust. Yes. And that took me down a rabbit hole. I'm still going down because now I'm investigating who's at the very top, who really rules the world. And I discovered it's a... Um, Hello everyone, welcome back to Starkey Born Says. My name is Samantha. Some of you joined with me when I did this video titled, Where are the Children? It's during the Maui fires and there were rumors and rumors of rumors and suspected 2,200 children taken out on school buses. Well, I, like everybody else, went for it hook, line, and sinker. Go to Maui twice. We disproved that there are 250 children, we believe, perished in the fires that the government is not bringing to light, but there were never 2,200 children taken. But YouTube pushed, the algorithm pushed my video to over 300,000 views. At that time, this platform had less than 6,000 subscribers. Yet one video with the correct title flew to the top of the list. Fast forward that, five months later, we're sitting underneath 46,000 subscribers. Today, YouTube pops this title into my lineup of videos. The algorithm pushes this video. Seven years old, seven years old. And I noticed somebody wrote in the comments four hours ago, how many of you are just seeing this? How many of you got on YouTube and found this video in your feed today? How many of you? Hundreds of us were like me, me, me. Why is it that specific topics get pushed to the forefront during certain time periods? It's all a manipulation. It's in a, a manipulation of current trending topics because it's an algorithm, it's an AI doing it, but it's set up to manipulate humans. I'm very concerned for our country. I'm mainly concerned because yesterday I had people trying to claim that the border where all of those illegals were pushing through this picture was a setup. Those weren't real United States National Guardsmen. That was not real illegals. It was all staged for Americans to view, to get us upset. I also have people calling these illegal invaders at our southern border victims. Victims. Our government has failed us. Today, they passed a $1.2 trillion pork package that does nothing for actual American citizens, the taxpayers. Oh yeah, a lot of spending on secondary education. A teeny tiny raise for the military. Whole lot of money going into that war machine. Whole lot of money. A very, very interesting history of ancient Iranian tribes the original Zoroastrians and the first world Persian Empire that uh, has controlled the world for the last 5,000 years. And so that brings us to UC Davis and what is occurring now with what was a covert presence of the Jesuits who, in Monsanto, because it's an agricultural college, um, in Monsanto was started by the Jesuits and um, um, and this this uh, this global transition 1,000 year a millennium transition 
from the decline of the original Silk Road that created tremendous wealth for 5,000 years and the collapse now, a thousand years later, of the Western economy and the rebirth of the Silk Road, uh, which has been engineered by China. And now China and uh, Russia are partners and Iran now has joined them. As we dive into this video, I want to make a disclaimer to you guys. Christians and Jesuits are two different people, okay? So Jesuits were actually part of the Catholic religion. And I don't want to be associated with them at all. So please understand that. Esoteric yes. reason why she was brought here to UC Davis yes. and into the UC system. Yes. And this drama that's unfolding now, it might be a Punch and Judy show. That's what we're trying to figure out here. It might be just a dumb show for, for the public. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, if so, it's very dangerous. If, if it's, these, it's very dangerous. Yeah, if this hypothesis, yes. it's, it's a very strong one, I must admit. <laughs> um, but as the evidence accumulates, it'll be much more compelling, probably elevated to the level of theory. Mm -hmm. Now, secondly, she's been talking about UC Davis and this bloodline that has come down and the people who are running these very liberal colleges in America are the same people that backed the Nazis, Stalin. I mean, these people are the true fascist. And it makes you really grasp what they're saying because think about our current college campuses and the insanity that you're seeing. You're hearing them use words like fascist to describe someone like me with a conservative value who is not racially motivated in any decision that I make. But these people, their labels they put on us and they don't realize these kids, these young adults do not realize that they are fascist. And the way that they are being taught is true hatred. Watch this video, current day video from UC Davis. I know there was a lot of work done prior to the time that my platform came out by other YouTubers about the 5G towers. We have all been warned repeatedly that they want to do social scores, right? That's already rolled out in China. I suspect that, they, that the antenna arrays were out there. Absolutely. Course. You agree with there. that? Absolutely, 100%. Okay. All of the UC campuses now, the street corners have been taken up. They've put uh, um, surveillance and, and other technology packages into the ground. They dug down five feet and then they cemented it in so that it can't be removed. And it's hooked up to the street lights, to the smart meters, to cell phones. It's all integrated now. That's what Katehi's technology is about. It's about integrating all of that. So you get a huge array of antennas that are all integrated and you control everything. Hmm. So the HARP model has been regionalized or localized. It's been localized. It's been um, made more granular. Mm -hmm. It's more, it's more uh, powerful, but it's more miniaturized. Mm -hmm. It's uh, gotten smaller and smaller and more efficient and had a bigger and bigger impact. Having listened to this video so far, you heard her say that it is now China and Russia recreating with Iran the Silk Road, the money. What are they trying to crash across the world? The US dollar, they're devaluing it. Look at what our, our federal government did today. They put a ton of money into the DOD. Department of Defense's pocket into Space Force, all that stuff. All that stuff is connected to this. That is what Space Force does. Antennas, satellites, 
um, observation of us citizens. So your freedoms were stripped considerably today when Republicans sided with Democrats. We're, we're done. We're done trying to fix our government. At this point, we as Americans are going to have to decide what we want to do. What are we going to put up with? How much further are we going to go? What are you seeing across America right now? Attack on small farms. Attack on citizens. More people in the IRS. Illegal citizens with the right to bear arms. I don't know. All right, so listen to this next clip because this one, this one's really going to get you if you have children or grandchildren or friends, kids who you're close to who are currently in college. Listen to what they say about this. Okay. So it's a creeping, um, it's a creeping um, mechanism for controlling humanity. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been teaching here at UC Davis for 20 years now. And beginning about eight years ago, perhaps even 10 years ago, I began to see a 180 degree shift in the intelligence level, intellect, mm -hmm. analytical ability, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, expressive ability, intellectual yes. ability, of course, I mentioned. Yes. And in, in attending that, I also saw a gradual acceleration of hostility and yes. anger. Yes, yes. Consider a faculty member's posts on social media with her take on the war. Words and threats condemned by the university. It does make it feel unsafe on campus just because you don't know like what they said and how they influenced the kids over here to, you know, harm one another in a sense. One post says, quote, one group of people we have easy access to in the U.S. is all these Zionist journalists who spread propaganda and misinformation. They have houses with addresses, kids in school. They can fear their bosses, but they should fear us more. At the end of the post, a knife, an axe, and blood emojis. And much of this has been directed towards myself yes. and towards other faculty that's, people. That's right. And I'm reading that this is, has been take, taking place coast to coast, north to south at different universities. So where do the students, undergraduates, I'm at the university, mm -hmm. where do they fit into this picture? Are they being used as a shock troops for this transformation? Oh, absolutely. It's even Please worse elaborate. than that. Yeah. But let me tell you what it's like in the 60s. In okay. the 60s, when I was a student at UC Davis, I used to go home to Santa Barbara for holidays and summers. Mm -hmm. And I noticed, or just uh, Easter break or something, and I noticed that when I was driving back on Highway 5, I'd start getting really depressed about coming back to Davis. Hmm. Something, this horrible depression and overwhelming fear and, and um, un uneasiness came over me and I just never could understand it. But um, it would always start about 150 miles from here. Hmm. And so very recently I was reading about um, heart facilities in California. Well, there's a heart facility in Visalia, mm -hmm. and it's to transmit Voice America to countries around the world. And there's always also a naval air base in Visalia, a mm -hmm. U.S. Navy air base. So that transmission was coming out of that heart facility in Visalia. I see. And that was a long time ago. That was in the 60s with the HARP technology and with antennas up in Oregon. Mm. So they've been doing this since the 50s. My gosh. So these and are like carrier waves that are affecting these are, yes. behavior. These are ELF, extra long frequency, or ULF, ultra long frequency carrier waves, and they put the applications on that carrier wave. So right now they're transmitting suicide um, um, frequencies that make people cause, uh, create, uh, commit suicide. And this is all over the Davis campus. We have seen a rise in suicides like never before. Started with the lockdowns with COVID. And I believe after hearing this that was recorded seven years ago, that it was because people were stuck at home unable to get away from the towers 
So when you think about Biden's 30 by 30 plan, it just seems more sinister now that they're going to take 30% of our oceans, our coastland, our federal, our federal parks and stuff away from us because that is a place you can go to get away from all the antennas. A lot of, yes. of the satanic agenda. Yes. yes. All right. So I started seeing satanic sam uh, symbols on and off UC Berkeley, the UC Berkeley campus. Mm -hmm. And for instance, I saw the, um, the head of the goat uh, which Baphomet? Yeah, Baphomet. Um, in the goat of Mendes. In students' windows, uh. I started seeing stars turned upside down, um, with so that the two two points of the stars represented the goat's horns, mm -hmm. and um, I saw American flags turned upside down and backwards on the balconies of the students' apartments. That was representing overthrow of the U.S. government. Uh, Laurence and I have recorded uh, the ski team, UC Berkeley ski team, in the house next door to us during parties. Uh, they were drinking and dancing and everything, and they were talking in loud voices about overthrowing the U.S. government. Mm -hmm. in no, no, this is anecdotal, though. This no, we have tape recorded. Well, you, you've, you've uh, recorded it, but you're interpreting it. So, uh, do you have any sort of doc? Because I've been reading it in, in the uh, corporate press about the growing popularity of, of religions such as Wicca. So they're just portraying it as a form of religious expression. Okay, so she couldn't come up with actual proof they had, that they have put out a memorandum saying convert these college campuses worldwide to Satanism. But we know it's happening. We all do. We all do. We all know that we are in a spiritual battle for the earth. Listen up, you guys. The ones that you, of you that have held on this long, listen to me now. The Bible tells us to occupy until Jesus returns. We're not going up April 8th with the eclipse. That's not happening. Some people are like, Sam, are you hearing they're deploying people because of the, the, equ the eclipse? I, I don't think it's because of the eclipse. I think that's smoke and mirrors. I think it's smoke and mirrors. I think this video popping up on my feed when it did, again, smoke and mirrors, we're missing something. I am, you are, we all are. It is so much more sinister than we can wrap our minds around. Because normal people, normal people like you and I, don't intentionally try to control everyone around us. That's narcissistic. 90% of us in the world are not narcissistic. Let me tell you what you can do. Get in your Bible. Stop watching YouTube preachers and prophets. Stop it. Stop. I keep telling you guys that. They are confusing you. They are false prophets. Jesus warned about this. In the end times, especially the closer we get to the rapture, the more insane crap is going to be coming out of people's mouths trying to pull people from heaven you are an adult you're a critical thinker be careful what you listen to be careful what you let people speak into your life i have told this story before but we have grown 10 times since i told it i let less than five people have permission to speak into my life what do you mean sam it means that I'm not asking for your advice. It means that when I have a business question, I don't call everybody. I don't call and talk to people who have never owned a business or who have owned a business and failed at it. I call successful people who are biblically sound and who are successful in the area that I need help in. I surround myself with people who are better at what they do or what that are better than at it than what how I do it and I learn from them okay I surround myself with people who not only go to church but actually live they walk the Bible out I do not surround myself with people who are negative so if somebody comes here 
when I decided to do that garden no-till, I was told by every person put their foot on this property, but three people, that'll never work, blah, 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 blah. If I were to listen to them, that vision God gave me would have never succeeded. You have got to know that you know that God told you to do it and then put the people in your life that are going to help you walk out the vision God gave for you rather than allow the people that are speaking into your life. So many, some of you have too many people speaking in your life. You got your friends. You got your work friends. You got your church friends. You got your party friends. You got your neighbors in your business. I, no. No, 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 boundaries, people, healthy boundaries, learn to set them, learn to only let God's voice be the one speaking in your life, because this stuff I just showed you is real. This is what we're up against. I had a talk with Miss Leslie, the lady that does our newsletter for this channel. If you want that newsletter, it's bi-monthly. It's amazing. I mean, it is amazing. It's $30. You can drop it in Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal because we've been demonetized. So it's helping me bring in money because you all know that I'm debt-free and I don't have credit cards to fall back on. Yes, I am fighting YouTube. The appeal hasn't come back yet, but I am going to file suit against them in small claims court for not paying me for February. So I'm taking care of business. Don't worry about that. Sam's got this. But my thing is this, you guys, me and Leslie were talking and I'm like, wow, Leslie, so many people are confused. And she was like, it's because our, the church is on milk and she's right. Guys, we need to move to meat. The Bible talks about that. Paul talks about that in the Bible. Like I'm feeding you milk like a baby, but you need to be on meat. Guys, it is your responsibility to get in your Bibles, get into a Spirit-filled church, get underneath the tutorship of an amazing pastor and get yourselves ready for what's fixing to come. Because guess what? There's Bible prophecies that have not been fulfilled. So guess what? We're not being raptured April 8th. So all those people you're listening to are lying to you. And, and I'm going to, you better behind, bet all y'all, y'all know it's coming April 9th. I'm going to be on this channel going, hey, did all your Bible prophecy people and your crazy people out there, none of that came true. It's all wrong. So are you guys unsubscribing to them? Are you going to hold them accountable for what came out of their mouths? Because if you claim to be a prophet, everything that you spoke must come true. Not one thing can be wrong. Just saying, y'all know I'm going to do it. April 9th, we'll be on here saying, hey, guess what? We didn't get raptured. There was no three days of darkness, no major earthquakes. What y'all gonna do now? Y'all know I'm gonna do it. Get your food stored, get your dogs trained, get yourself in shape, get in your Bible. I love you guys. Got some stuff I gotta go take care of. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. We need to wake more people up. But wake people up the right way. Please stop with the insane stuff stop. There's a lot of things to really focus on that needs to be worked on. Like our government sold us out with this trillion dollar bill. Funny, they're putting all this money into education to get your kids on these campuses. Think about it. Really think about where they put the money. They didn't put it there for you and me, friend.